Hi TBC Kids! I'm so excited to be doing an activity with you today that goes with the last sermon that um, Jared preached on, okay? So today for the activity what we're going to do is we are going to make our very own gavel. Now a gavel is the thing that a judge uses whenever he is in a courtroom and he's declaring something final or needing to move into a different part. It's the thing that they bank on the desk. <laughs> so you guys probably know what a gavel is and so we're going to make our very own gavel and then talk about how it uh, correlates to, to what Jared was talking about. So um, before we get started, at any time during this video, the cool thing about it being a video is you can pause me um, to catch up or maybe rewind me to um, retry a step or whatever you need. So. I'm going to show you the supplies that we'll be using today, and then you should pause me and go grab those supplies. Okay, so we're going to need two different pieces of paper. Construction paper is ideal, but if you don't have construction paper, normal paper is great too. We're going to need some glue, and then we're also maybe going to need some tape. Okay, so glue and tape if you have them. And then the last thing is we're going to need scissors. So, you need to ask your parents first if you can use these scissors, okay? So, um, make sure your mom and dad know that you're using scissors, and if you're not allowed to use scissors, then maybe ask them to help you, and they can do the cutting portion, okay? So, be safe. Um, and then, last but not least, you could use some markers if you want to personalize your gavel. All right, so go ahead and pause me, um, and go get those supplies, and we'll begin in a second. Welcome back! Okay, so it's time to begin. What we're going to do first is we're going to make the handle of our gavel. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your pieces of paper, pick the color you prefer, or color it if you don't already have a colored sheet of paper, give it the color you'd like. Now, all we're going to do first is maybe take your pen or your pencil that you're going to draw with and roll the piece of paper like so up just like it's a handle. You can cut the piece of paper so there's less paper to roll, but also it's okay to have a big, thick piece of paper um, as your handle, okay? So then after that, what I would do is I'd go ahead and use your tape and tape your gavel handle shut. Okay? You can either hide the tape if you want to, or you can just put it right on top there. I think I'm just going to put it right on top. Again, feel free to pause me if you missed a step, but really all we've done right now is we've just rolled the piece of paper up into the handle. Now you can use glue as well here. If you don't have any tape, that's okay. Just use some glue. Okay, so here is my gavel handle. Step one, done. All right, so I have my gavel handle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut my other sheet of paper and I'm just going to choose uh, probably a fourth of the way. It's okay if it's not a whole fourth. I'm just going to cut some of my paper off. Notice that I was holding it um, hot dog style almost, you can think. And I made my cut hot dog style as well. So the, you're cutting the short, um, the shortest length that you can. If you cut the longest length, that's fine too. Because now all we have to do is we take our cut off piece and we need to also roll that one up. So it's a pretty simple concept. So again, I'm just going to use my marker as a good uh, guideline to roll. Okay, so now I have a rolled piece of paper again. Now I kind of want this piece of paper to be a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it a little bit. Just loosen your roll. And so then now it's something like this with this diameter. You can make the top of your gavel however you want to. Um, but then I'm now going to just use tape again. You could use glue if you wanted to. You could be all fancy and hide your tape if you want to be super accurate to what a gavel would look like. Okay, so mine's pretty taped up. So now um, notice that this is going to sit on top of this, but Right now it has an open circle here, so if you wanted to, what you can do is you can just cut off a little piece of paper and then you want to be able to use it 
at the ends of your gavel, okay? We want to glue these to the end. Bear with me, it will look good in a second, okay? So go ahead and do that. You might want to use glue, you can use tape if that works better. You might have to use tape, I might have chose glue that doesn't work. But what you, all you do is you glue on the rim here, and then you stick this right here, okay? So again, I'm just gonna use some tape because I did not choose good glue. If you're gonna use tape, what I would do is I'd put the tape on the inside of the gavel, just like this, and then I'm gonna fold it a little bit so that whenever I put my um, piece of paper down, it will be stuck to it, okay? So do this with me. All right, so I'm gonna do the other side now. Remember, you can use glue if you'd rather. So if you wanted to skip this part, or you might just go ahead and start trying um, to do the glue and pause me, and then come back for the next step. Because the glue might take a second to dry, which would be okay. So once the glue has dried, or your tape is secure, look, mine looks pretty bad right now, but we're gonna fix it. So all you're gonna do is remember, if you use the scissors, only if your mom and dad said you can, or your parent or your guardian, um, or ask them for help. What we wanna do is we want to just cut this in a circle as well. So you want to make it align with the circle on the outside. Now I did a pretty bad job. You guys can probably do way better than me, way better. So go ahead and just try to follow the line of the end of the gavel. Oh, my little circle came up. So I'll have to fix that, which is okay. So now you're, the idea is that you just want to have a full cylinder to work with. It's a little math term extra for you. <laughs> so you want it to look like a cylinder, just like this. Okay, so now once um, we have our cylinder made, then we're gonna come back to this. And you're gonna flatten it just a little bit at the very end, because it's paper and we can flatten it. And what you're gonna wanna do after you flatten it is go ahead and do a very small semicircle. I don't even know if you can see that from this far. So we'll get closer. But you wanna do a semicircle cut. Okay, so again with the scissors, you're just gonna cut in a semicircle. The reason is because we want the base or the belly of the cylinder to fit right here. So we have a very nice looking gavel, okay? So, all you have to do now is once you have that cut, pause me if you need to make the cut, but go ahead and make it look like this. Now all you have to do is glue the very top and then place this on here, or again, you can use tape. And I'm gonna use tape again. If you choose to use tape for all these things, just like I'm doing, just know it's still pretty um, and it works. Okay, so I'm trying to now tape the top of my gavel to my gavel handle. One second. I'm using a lot of tape. Okay, so here is my gavel. I am sure your gavel looks so, so pretty as well. Now this is the part where if you wanna customize your gavel, go ahead. Um, remember that rep repetitious word that we are looking for, for as in justice? Um, uh, whenever Jared was talking and in the scripture, we could write justice on the handle or maybe on the head of the gavel. You could write your name, you could write TBC, you could really write whatever you wanted to. But this is our makeshift gavel. And judges normally use this. now. The reason we wanted to make this gavel, look at, look at this gavel. Now there are some errors. It's not very pretty at all. My best attempt at making the gavel is imperfect. So Jared talked about a couple of things that happened today back in Jesus's time 
that were imperfect as well. The trials that Jesus went through were imperfect, but they were truly trying to give justice, okay? So let's talk about justice for a second. Um, during these trials, they were trying to give justice and they were trying to work through um, and do the best thing that they could. They really were trying their hardest, but it was still imperfect, just like my gavel here. Now, the, the, the reason that I want you to look at your imperfect gavel or my imperfect gavel is because we can compare this to the only thing that's going to bring true justice, and that's the cross. When Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, true justice was delivered. He glorified the Father, and he, he, he made that sacrifice so that we now can have a relationship um, with God. And so we are so blessed to have the perfect judge, and we are so blessed that Jesus, God, provides true justice for us. So I hope you enjoy your gavel, and I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about justice. I hope your families are super safe and healthy, and I can't wait to see you later. Thanks.